I wonder if you'd be uh, hidden. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, a bus went past. How much? Fifty. Oh, fine. We'll yeah, we'll pay that. So what did she say? <clears throat> well, I called her. She's not in. So I rang the doorbell, obviously for ages. Uh, she said it should be twenty minutes, and it's fifty-five bucks for the hour. So it's a steal. I mean, That's if good. we can get. You reading her and her reading you, and, but I didn't say what you do. I just said we got a guy from the UK, so and we'll just tell her when she gets here. As soon as she gets here, I think you know everyone puts away their cards and stuff, so we don't look obviously like you know magicians and mind readers, and we just kind of sort of float back. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Sorry. So I'm a little bit disappointed because one of the things that I really wanted to do in Miami was to meet a psychic and see if I could give the psychic a reading and get her to say, I can tell you based on my psychic abilities that this guy's the real deal. And we had one of the team approach her and say, look, we're filming this show where we're giving readings, yada, yada, yada. We'd love for you to give him a reading, he'll give you a reading. And she literally slammed the door in the crew's face, but just before she pulled the door to, she said, what's the point? He's playing the same game that I'm playing. Now I'm not here to make assumptions, but I'll let you decide what you think that that means, because I sure as hell think I know what it means about her.